is of course 50 millimeter 1.4 smack bang in the middle so you've got the 1.8 which I've got rid of and sold 1.2 got rid of and sold main reason one is like Mr Bean one is like Arnold Schwarzenegger I've got the middle ground who would be, who would be a good middle ground oh, I didn't think about it did I? so the uh, middle ground would be someone like who's good these days Jason Statham maybe possibly so like in between not too big not too skinny kind of good role model I think I haven't seen latest news so maybe he's not a good role model who knows okay so anyway that because it's in between it's not really heavy imagine 1.2 here uh, it's not really light imagine 1.8 here so the reason I've kept this one and sold the others is because if you go somewhere for a shoot and turn up with the 1.2 you're gonna and the rest of your kit it's heavy lens it's a big lens and because of the 1.2 focusing range and the distance where the blur takes effect if you're shooting at fully open 1.2 that is it's a hit and miss so you need to take a few shots before you get it bang on so in the fashion industry catwalks etc you've got one chance as they're coming up and down so 70 to 200 without a doubt and 24 to 70 for wides and then the 1.4 for the in-between fillings so backstage etc really good in low light 1.2 also good but i trust and i've achieved a lot more better photos with this which is why i kept it maybe down to experience 14 15 years now it's been i've been doing photography so i'm still probably learning possibly um but it's more of a preference i think so because it feels about right it looks about right it's fine the 1.8 that's a bit hectic it's a bit lightweight perfectly fine a lot of people use it there's no problems with it but if you turn up with that and the loud focusing noise that it makes it sounds like it's going to be in a hot day with a vibrating foam there you go that's the reason so i haven't gone too technical there to explain the differences but if i based on using all three and keeping this the longest that tells you all you need to know it's not giving me any issues and really good lens so what i would suggest is getting a hood if you don't already have one uh, i think it comes in the box with the hood i can't remember when i got it in the box the box is up there but yeah the focusing ring is in a in a section there you can see so if you keep bringing it down in your bag face down it's been reports that it can cause issues with the motor blah, blah, blah. but this hood the good thing about the hood is if you notice how it goes on it goes on the outside and the ring can still turn up oh, no, i'll do a closer the ring turns on the inside so if you can if you lay that down in your bag like that no problem and it's not going to be any problems so if you're thinking about getting a lens um it's not even a case of money because i think the 1.2 is about seven eight hundred pound now if you get that pick it up um it's just a case of carrying weight around if you've got a lot of kit it's heavy and are you getting the return based on the weight but if you turn up somewhere the red ring obviously you look like a professional so it looks if that's your thing then go for it and 1.8 if you're learning and for the price you can't get anything there but if you want to get something respectable in between then this is going to be the option cool just slide off the 1.2 and the 1.8 mate <laughs> good lenses but they are shite thank you and goodbye